Hey everybody, Glenn here again with DigitalSandwich.net. Today I want to show you how to render in the background with Adobe Media Encoder. So as you know, in After Effects, when you're rendering, you can't really do anything else. You have to wait until it's finished, and that gets kind of annoying, right? Well, one way around this is you can use Adobe Media Encoder to render in the background as you're still working in After Effects. So all I have to do is save my file that I'm working on, load up, load up Adobe Media Encoder, then all I gotta do is simply drag the After Effects file that I want straight into Adobe Media Encoder. It's gonna load up all the same stuff as in my project panel. I gotta find the composition that I wanna render. This controller master, hit OK. It's gonna add it. Then over here in the preset browser, I just have to find what I wanna convert it to. Now if you haven't used Media Encoder, it's really, really nice. Not only can you do the After Effects compositions, but you can also do Premiere projects or also regular videos that you just wanna convert to something else. So you go over in the preset, you find however you wanna save it. I usually just go to Vimeo, you just drag it right under here, hit go, and you let it do its thing. So it's going to start rendering. I can go back over here into After Effects. I can, you know, scrub around, do whatever I want. I can start a, start a whole new project, start working on something new. I can open up an older project. I can change that other project. I can do whatever I want, and it's going to render in the background. If I hop back to it, you can see there it's still rendering. So how this works is all these Adobe programs talk to each other and work together to figure out the best way to split up your, your system's RAM and memory. And we can take a look at this. So if I go and do After Effects, Preferences, Memory and Multiprocessing, it brings this up. So I have 16 gigabytes of RAM and of that 16, 13 gigabytes is being shared by all of these Adobe programs. Now I only have Media Encoder and After Effects open. They would all split this RAM up and whichever program I'm working on currently is going to get the majority of it but it's gonna save some for the other programs so they can all kind of work together. So if I go in the details here, it's gonna give me a readout of what I have open. So I've got After Effects, Media Encoder, and the Render Core, which is rendering my file. And you can see what's going on. So After Effects is the number one priority. The background rendering is the number three priority. So obviously, since I'm rendering in the background, it's not gonna render as fast as it would straight out of After Effects. So that's kind of the price you have to pay. So it's going to render significantly slower, and how much slower really just depends on how much you're doing in After Effects at the time. So if I jump back into Media Encoder, my project's still going, and once it's done, it'll save it to wherever I told it to save. So hopefully from this tutorial, you'll learn that you can indeed render in the background without the need of additional plugins. Now again, this isn't good for every situation. If you're under a real-time crunch, I would not suggest doing this. Just do it straight out of After Effects. I mean, you can't do anything else, but it will render faster. So for DigitalSandwich.net, this is Glenn with Background Rendering with Adobe Media Encoder.